Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview round is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are already available in the lead code platform. And all the code solutions for the questions asked in the lead code platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. And also, in addition to that, I have segregated the channel into five playlists which are easy, medium and hard depending upon the toughness of the question. The premium subscription questions of lead code as premium playlist questions and I combined all the 230 questions into one single playlist as all SQL playlist. Let's see the question which I am trying to solve it today. It is very uh, type of hard question number 0569 median employee salary. Let's see the question in action. Okay. It is already asked in Google for one to two years and it's a hard level question. They are saying they are having an employee table which is consisting of ID, company, salary, okay, that respect to write an SQL query to find the rows that contains a median salary of each company. While calculating the mean, when you sort the salaries of a company, break the ties by ID, okay. Okay, let's see what is the example they have given here. Let's take this input and output. This can be sorted by solved by two methods. Let's solve with a brute force method. After that, we will go with a shortcut and we will see how can we solve that. Let's let's solve with method one first. Okay. Method one. Okay, they have given some explanations. The question what they're trying to say is there are different companies here. You can see, for example, there is A company, B company and C company. And for each company, they have salaries from lowest to highest. They want to know what is the median salary. Median means, let's say there are 10 elements, uh, 5 elements, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, last one and first one, second last one, second first one, okay. So, the middle one is what? 30. This is called median in statistics, okay. But what happens means, if there are odd number of elements, for example, here 5 is there, then we can get the exact median thing. Let's say that 6 elements are there, 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, then 10, 60, 20, 50, then there will be two median elements, okay, when it is having even, even will have two medians, odd will have one median, okay. Now, if you see how many elements are there here, for example, they segregated into different, different fields, A has six fields, B has six fields, C has five fields, okay. If you see they sorted by ascending, okay, 15, 341, 441, so on, so on. So, first and last, second and fourth, three and four are the median, which you saw here, okay. Similarly, first and last, second, last, second, last, middle two things are the median. Similarly, five things are there, five things are there means only one thing will be there. Everything will be cancelled only here. Now, our object too is to result this median things. Okay, let's see via first method. Now, what can be this one is, let's say, uh, n number of elements are there, okay, where n is odd. First condition, where n is odd, okay. If n is odd, what is the resultant thing? Let's say, n is odd means, let's say, for example, 5 things are there. n is even, means 6 things are there, okay. Then, n is odd means, it will return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, third one. So, it will return what? n by 2 plus 0 0.5. What is 5 by 2? 2, 2.5 plus 1, 3 as answer. Let's say, 9 elements are there, 1 to 9. Then, what it will return? What is 9 by 2? 
4.5 plus 0.5 it will return 5 as answer okay the median the median of a anode element will be n by 2 plus 0 0.5 Let's take an even element. N is even. Okay. Now, if you see, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 elements are there. Okay. If 6 elements are there, what will be the median things? 3, 4. If 8 elements are there, what will be the elements? 4, 5. Can we write it like this? The first element can be written as n by 2. The second element can be written as n by 2 plus 1. Here also if you see, 6 by 2 is 3, 6 by 2 3 plus 1, 4. Similarly, for even, 8 by 2 is 4, 8 by 2 plus 1 is the median. So, in short, can we what can we write? If n is odd, if n is even. If n is even, lower half will be what? n by 2. If n is, uh, sorry, upper median will be n by 2 plus 1. When n is odd, there will be only one median. Okay. So, upper and lower will be only one thing. What is that? n by 2 plus 0 0.5. n by 2 plus 0 0.5. Alright. So, what we need to find is, we need to find count of things in each company then if it is odd we need to filter it out the elements which are this one let's say that we have created row numbers or ranks or something let's say row numbers we have created then what we can do we can filter out for 1 to 6 and uh, if it is let's say here 6 is there what is n by 2 3 then it will return the third one and n by 2 plus 1 means fourth it will return these two things let's say n is 5 here n is 5 means what 5 by 2 plus 0 0.5, 3 is the median, both things are the things which are there. So, what we need to do, first let's calculate the count of these things and depending upon the count, let's calculate the upper and lower median. From employee Let's group by company. Select company comma count of rows as C and T. Okay. Here you can see count is was 665. Now what we need to do? We need to keep a case when statement. Case when count is an even number. Even number means modulus will be 0. Then um, then what is the even number? n by 2 yeah then it should be count of star by 2 okay else count of star or let's say else you can write it here else count of star by 2 plus 1 okay and lower median let's call it as lower median let's also keep count of star as ct let's first execute this one Here you can see right uh, what it is doing case when count equal to 0 
if it is an even number it should be what okay it should be n by 2 plus 0 0.5 not a okay we got the lower median for everything similarly we want the upper median case when count of star modulus 2 if it is even then again what is the even number uh, upper limit n by 2 plus 1 so n is here count by 2 plus 1 else it should be same count of star by 2 plus 1 count of star by 2 plus 0 0.5 and as okay plus 0 0.5 and as upper median okay now we got the lower and upper median right for 6 it is 3 3 3 4 for 6 it is 3 4 for 5 it is 3 3 now what we need to do we need to do inner join with this table to this main table and wherever it is matching we need to find it so how will we do is uh, let us see let's call it as some CTE first of all CTE as this one Now let's take one more table from employee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from employee, let's say A in a join CTEB. How should we join it? A dot company equal to B dot company. Okay, let's skip select ones. Let's see what I've got. okay then what we have got for each thing we got their respect to things now what we need one more row what is that row number we need comma row number over partition by uh, company order by let's say salary ascending both are same Let's call it as some Rn. Mm, it is that my school server version for the right syntax to use near salary order by. Okay, a dot company. Now, if you see, we got row numbers for each the table, and for each of the things, we got the lower and median. Okay, now we want what row number either should be lower median or row number should be either upper median. Let's call it something CTE2. Row number should be now from CTE to where Rn equal to lower median or Rn equal to upper median select all okay it should be comma duplicate name company
okay let's select only the dress module name then a dot id comma a dot company comma a dot salary okay when uh, and we want b dot upper median b dot lower median also okay we got our final answer now what they want they want only company id and salary now they want what id comma company comma salary okay we first created this median things after that we match with the median things with their respect to companies after that what we have done we have taken only the required things let's submit it okay our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform there is one more smart way i will show show it to you how to do that also if you see here median has a property what is that let me see uh, imagine it is like this 10 20 30 40 50 a odd number case let's take some even number case 110 120 130 140 150 160 let's create row numbers similarly opposite side 1 2 3 4 5 what will be the difference here minus 4 here it will be minus 2 here it will be 0 here it will be 2 here it will be 4 one more thing 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 5 4 3 2 1 we know that median can be a single thing or two consecutive names means their difference can be only maximum of one so let's take this example what will be the thing minus 5 minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 and this will be 3 this will be 5 so the simple trick is create a row number ascending wise create a row number descending wise their difference should be either 0 1 or minus 1 that's it I will showcase to you how to do that Okay, let's select the table from employees, select all rows, comma, row number, over, partition by, what we should partition by? company order by salary descending one more thing would be what in the opposite thing row number over partition by company order by salary ascending let's call it some uh, R1 let's call it some R2 here you can see it right okay now what is the property we have let's call it something as something with CTE now from CTE I want rows where R1 minus r2 is equal to 0 or 
R1 minus R2 equal to minus 1 or R1 minus R2 equal to plus 1. Or oh, let's create here only. Let's instead of that, it is better if we do here only minus something R1. Zero one comma minus one. Okay, first of all, let's see what are the values which are showing. Let me see the value where is the mistake going. Okay. We are getting the values. Let's create something like this. R1 minus R2 Why are we getting this error? Should we convert into data type? Okay, let's see this issue. Yeah. Let's do conversion then. It is better. R1 as a signed integer. Then subtraction will be occurring easily. Cast R2 as signed integer. Okay, call it something RR. Okay. something rr from this cte table okay now we got only the table which are needed now filter where rr equal to 0 or rr equal to minus 1 or rr equal to plus 1 Okay, where occurs after this one, right? Okay, let's keep like this then. Let's keep this as CTA2. Now from CTA2, keep where RR equal to 0 or RR equal to minus 1 or RR equal to plus 1. Select what? Uh, I want ID company comma salary Okay, let's see what is the issue. B should be having two things and C should be having only one thing. Mm. Let's see the input. C has what? 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 6, 4, 5, 2, 6, 4, 5, 2, 6, 5, 2. Okay. Then what happens? One, two, three, four, five. 
again 4 15 and uh, 14 and 15 it is showing 14 should not be shown Here, what will be there? Okay, five minus one, four minus two. Okay, here will be what? Three minus three. It should be zero, right? Why it is showing this one? somewhere some mistake I've done let me see let's first of all see what are the rows which are there in CD okay you got correctly five four Two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. What they said if they're in tie, uh, well, calculate in you sort the salary space. Okay, salary ascending, comma, ID ascending comma id ascending now let's run it ID also should be descending. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, now it will come. Okay, now let's keep air condition. Okay, we got the same condition now what we need is id company salary id company salary okay let's submit it okay this is the two methods by which we can solve one is by mathematical where absolute value will be 0 minus 1 or 1 or the brute force method where we will be checking the median of everything and we will be checking wherever it is matching we should return that okay these are the two methods by which we can solve it and thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for an interview you can see the type of questions which are asked in companies like google this is one example of that try to do more um, practice as possible the better you do the better the chance of cracking an interview in lesser number of times. Thanks for watching again. See you again.